In Oregon, a disabled rescue dog needs a training partner if he's to get his second chance at life. In this pine forest, the lovable dog rescue center offers a home for unwanted and previously unloved canines. Hey guys, I'm starving. It's run by Liesl Wilhart. We take a lot of senior dogs and dogs with special medical issues. And that's just because there are a lot of organizations that can't take those dogs. And we like to focus on the dogs that are most in need. And we just believe there's a home out there for every dog, no matter what its age or disability or difference. Liesl has more than 30 dogs in her care, but one of them really stands out. This Pitbull Cross is called Picasso, named after the artist because of his surreal looks. Picasso has a twisted upper jaw. We weren't sure what was wrong with him when we got him. We thought he might need corrective surgery or be in a lot of pain. But as it turns out, he was just born with this um, deformity, what we call a wonky face. It's not painful and it doesn't cause him any problems. This rare condition is called wry mouth. It's when one side of the jaw grows longer than the other. When Liesl first met Picasso, she saw past his disability. First thing I noticed about Picasso were his eyes. He had the most beautiful, soulful, sweet eyes. And I just could tell that he was an amazing dog. But I just fell in love with his face. And then I found out he was on death row, scheduled to be euthanized. Picasso was an eight-month-old stray, picked up by animal control with his brother, Pablo. This pair of pit bull crosses were untrained and unlikely to be adopted. Their future was bleak until Liesl took them in. Picasso and Pablo really needed to start from the basics. I mean, they'd never worn a collar. They didn't really know how to live in a home. Both dogs were kind of like street dogs when we first got them. Liesl began basic training to give the brothers a second chance. We spent an amazing summer together here, uh, training and working. But then fate struck a cruel and sudden blow. Pablo suffered a brain aneurysm and died. Liesl was heartbroken. The two boys had lived through, you know, so many challenges. They never should have made it, and they did. So it was really sad to lose him. It was really difficult for Picasso. I mean, he was definitely lost and depressed and confused. That was his best friend, and he didn't have anything else in the whole world, except for me. After Pablo's death, Picasso lost all interest in his training. Until one day, the dog rescue center took in a new member. Not a dog at all, but a pig called Pax. When she first arrived here, she was a timid little thing. A friend sent me a video of a little pig in a very bad situation. And I just said, we have to help her. We, we've got, we're a dog rescue, but we have to take this baby pig. Like dogs, pigs are highly sociable animals who need company. That gave Liesl an idea, maybe Pax could become Picasso's new training partner. We started bringing Picasso and the baby pig and teaching her what we were teaching him. And she picked everything up just as fast. It was amazing. So click, then a treat, and watch her little tail. It's like wagging, it's good, yes. Yeah. And she seemed to like it. So we thought, well, as long as she's having fun, we'll just keep doing this. Eight months on, Pax and Picasso have become firm friends. And most of all, they're enjoying learning together. Our whole purpose with training is it has to be fun for the animals or else there's no point in doing it. Picasso finally has a partner to fill the void left by his brother. When we got Pax, it just seemed natural that Pax should pick up where Pablo left off. And this is where they left off, training side by side on the agility course. First, the warm-up. 
the most efficient way to train an animal is through positive reinforcement. Pax understands that squeaking the toy on Liesel's command wins her the treat. Picasso gets a reward whenever he gives his paw. And that's all they need to learn to tackle the mighty agility course together. Of course will do it. <laughs> the lure of tasty treats sets Picasso off. And Pax isn't about to be left behind. Pax will follow Picasso. <gasps> At least until she gets so big that her belly won't go up the ramp. They're wonderful together because they do motivate each other. I've tried to go into the course with them just by themselves. And they really have very little interest in doing it on their own. They are kind of looking for the other one. Oh, very nice, Good boy. No matter how tricky the course gets, where Picasso goes, Pax is hot on his heels. Only a few months ago, Picasso was lost and depressed. Now, with his training partner, he's full of life. Both animals have shown great resilience in overcoming obstacles in their past. Today's reward is a friend for the future.